Welcome back to my channel. So we have officially made it to Lithuania. I'm sure I look it, but I am so tired right now, y'all. Like I am literally exhausted. I did not get much sleep at all last night. Um, I had so much to do before our flight that I didn't get to go to bed until like midnight. And then I had to be up in an hour and a half at 1.30. <laughs> Which is just a joke, like a true joke. I don't even know what was the point of going to sleep. Um, but yeah, I am running on very little energy right now, very little sleep. I did sleep on the plane ride, which was like two hours, but I don't know, y'all. We're just, we're running off fumes today. We had a really early flight, 6 a.m. And I'm telling y'all right now, if I have anything to do with it, if I have any say, I will never do a flight that early again because it's just not nice. It does not feel nice at all. And my whole body hurts. I feel like I got jumped. No, 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 never again. We've checked into our hotel and now we're gonna try to make the most of the daylight that we have left here in Lithuania um, because we leave tomorrow to go to Norway. It's a very, very quick trip as I told you guys before if you watched my last vlog. It's currently 12.45 and the sun sets at 4 p.m. So we're gonna see as much as we can before it gets dark out. Um, and of course you guys are coming with me. So let's see what this new country has to offer. Oh, and by the way, this is country number 28, y'all. I'm so close to my goal of 30 before the end of the year. Let's see how it goes. We asked for two twin beds. They pushed them together, but we just gonna have to separate them on our own. But I just wanted to show you guys what the room look like before we ruined the bed. Lithuania is very cold and rainy. But it's pretty though. We're currently headed to Old Town. Thanksgiving Day. I am feeling very, very, very thankful, very blessed um, to be spending this day with my brother um, here in Lithuania, traveling, doing what we love. And of course, I just want to also say how thankful I am for you guys. Thank you to every single one of you who watches my videos, to those of you who consistently tune in every single week. It honestly means more than you will ever know. Those of you who have been around since the beginning of my London journey, like 
it has been a ride so far hasn't it y'all um but yeah moments like this being in countries that i never could have even imagined just a few years ago like it truly is a blessing and i'm so 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 thankful y'all i don't even think i knew what a lithuania was i don't think lithuania had even ever come to my mind before i moved abroad like <laughs> This experience has just opened my eyes and opened my mind to so much. And something that I always say is just that there is so much world out there, y'all. And you really don't realize it until you start exploring. And once you start exploring, it is so hard to stop. You just want to go to the next place and the next place and the next place. So, yeah. Just feeling good, y'all. Tired, but good. Okay y'all, so we're definitely not in Old Town anymore. Um, it looks a lot more modern over here. Seeing lots of stores like H&M, there's a lot of hotels over here. you won't get on all the people come off the plane yeah so when they get off they clean the plane and then you get on yeah so when that happened it was like maybe like three minutes into people getting off the plane okay why did first montana get off the plane <laughs> where like, he was in the back like in the middle or something what plane um when i was about to get on the plane in london he got the he, he got the same guy i was getting on like, what? The plane, so. did you say what's up no <laughs> Bodyguard, his bodyguard was like six eight. Like his bodyguard was huge. So wait, so he was getting off of DC? In New York. Oh, in New York, as you had your. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, what were you be doing? I tell you, look, I can believe you. I believe you. He doing some promo for his new album right now. That's random. Okay, y'all. So we stopped for a little break. Got some tea. Aaron got a croissant. I said, you want to hear something really weird? I said, definitely <laughs> just saw a French Montana. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a celebrity. In no, I saw. <laughs> I saw I one. A couple celebrities. Uh, I got all the friends like Jesus, Ford, Fabulous, uh, Rich, um, Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. The Bobby only, Cordes, the only celebrity I've seen in the airport is Fantasia. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've seen plenty of them. <laughs> I don't think I've seen I've any seen other celebrities in the airport. Yeah. But I've yeah, y'all. <laughs> Tea break. So cold out here too. It's very cold. See my hands. <gasps> Just fell off the scooter. Didn't Dang. you want to ride the scooter too? No, I was just joking. I didn't want to ride the scooter. Anyways, y'all, as you can see, we're just walking around and exploring. Um, it's very cold and rainy, y'all. Very cold and rainy, and it's making it kind of hard to vlog because my camera lens keeps getting wet, and when I try to wipe it off, it's just blurry. Yeah, stress, but I'm doing the best I can. Definitely um, a cute city. It reminds me of a few other European cities I've been to. Maybe like Vienna and some parts in Old Town look like Prague, Czech Republic. Like, I don't know, a lot of European cities just do look alike because of like the architecture and stuff. But yeah. Hey guys, our episode pace is walking extremely slow today. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Y'all, I, okay, first of all, <laughs> I hadn't worked out with my trainer in two weeks because I had the flu. Um, so my first session back was yesterday. It was probably a mistake. Like, I'm gonna be honest because he worked me out really hard and my legs are throbbing right now. So yeah, I'm even feeling like sharp pains through my foot. 
and all up through my legs. So I'm doing my best. But y'all know Paige, Mariah, is a walker, okay? That ain't never been a problem. But um, speaking of walking, my brother and I, let me pull this down, so. Oh, hold up y'all, lost an ear pie. My brother and I wanna see a really good view of, how you pronounce this, this city again? Vilnius, hold on. We wanna see a really good view of Vilnius. Vilnius? <laughs> it's sad that I'm here, y'all, and I'm still struggling to pronounce the name, but Vilnius. Um, we wanna see a really good view of the city. So we're about to do a little bit of a hike. We're gonna go to the Hill of Three Crosses. Um, from where we are right now, we can actually see it, and it is so high up, so I'm not even really sure, like, how this <laughs> hike is gonna go um, because of the pain that I'm in right now, but I do really wanna go up there, so I'm gonna push myself. And it looks really cool from the photos. When you look up lists of things to see and do in this city, most of these lists point you towards a lot of like religious monuments I've noticed. So a lot of churches and cathedrals, you know, and now we're going to go see the three crosses. So yeah, there's definitely a thing there. So like I said, you can see it from all the way down here, but it's just about getting up there now. Okay y'all, so so far we've climbed up this part and apparently we supposed to go all the way up there. I'm sorry, but I'm not a hiker. Like, the idea was cute, but I just don't think. I think I'm gonna do it though. No, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. That This part was so steep, y'all, I could barely climb up. I actually don't even know how I'm about to get back down. Slide down on my butt? How are we gonna get back down? And are you telling me I'm supposed to climb up that and then we're gonna somehow go. walk back down? <laughs> they trying to find it too. I'm going to the top. I ain't, get, I ain't making this far to go to the top. We ain't even gone that far yet. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Three. Do you know how to get up there? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they don't know either. Okay, they're gonna ask this guy. Let's see what he tells them. He's pointing in the same direction he told us to go. I don't got nothing to lose. Okay, that's what we were afraid of. <laughs> Are you serious? Y'all, y'all know I like a thrill, but this just looks crazy. I'll take a picture of you, right? You're really about to go up there. Yeah, yeah it's what's I'm scared. I'm going up there. I ain't making this fun not to go up there. That's it between me and a lot of individuals. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Cause you never know, it might be going on top of that mountain. So they pretty much said that. You gotta go up there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm doing it. You gotta go. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to hold on to that rope. Right? <laughs> Can you use this? He said, they say yes, yes, go. Hey. <laughs> Oh, you. He's trying to tell us how to do it. He's saying, go up there. Okay, y'all. I'm going to try. I'll check back in if I make it. <laughs> Grab the railing. Look at how it's struggling, y'all. Come on. Why did you bring me here? Hold the railing. Come on. Oh, look at you go. You scared? Yeah, how are we supposed to get back down? Uh, the same way we got up. Y'all, what in the world? I can't believe I just climbed up that. Oh my gosh. I'm shook, y'all. I don't like this one bit. <sighs> Stay.
stepping out of my comfort zone every hey, single day. Y'all, what in the world? My mama would not be happy if she knew we just did that. What's she gonna find out when she watches the <laughs> That was scary. You saw, you saw that? You saw how you about to give up? You saw how you want to give up? But guess what? You stuck through with it. And now you're at the top. Are you DJ Khaled? I'm trying to tell you is that life is not simple. It's not easy. You have to go through obstacles to get to the top. And you did that. So I'm proud of you, kid. Oh. Let's keep that going. Y'all saw that, right? gosh i did Guys, not plan at, to scale a mountain i'll insert the clip because my brother seems to think it's a joke <sighs> that was really scary um i'm really happy i wore my doc martens today because they have a little bit of grip because uh, <laughs> if i had any other shoes on your girl would have been sliding down the side so wow <sighs> i've been telling y'all i vowed to step out of my comfort zone since i moved abroad but Sometimes I'll be pushing the limits, okay? Really pushing it. I think it's time for some dinner. Wow, y'all, so now that we're at the bottom, we see that the crosses light up. Look how nice that looks, but I'm still glad that we came down before it got dark, like. No regrets on that one. So I love how um, these say American pancakes, y'all. But they are definitely waffles. <laughs> these are not pancakes. at the airport. I swear I love traveling with my brother because he has those VIP lounge benefits. So I always get to be his plus one and chill in the lounge whenever I'm traveling with him. But yeah, we're just waiting for our flight to Oslo, Norway. Super quick trip, but I would definitely come back here. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but it's actually a really nice city. Oh, and I did find out an interesting fact. So I mentioned at some point in the vlog that I noticed that there were a lot of like religious monuments and things like that here. Well, I found out that Lithuania is 93% Christian. So now that makes sense. And three quarters of adults and three quarters of adults identify as Catholic. And I'm actually a Catholic, so that's pretty cool. 
But yeah, I thought I would just wrap up this Lithuania vlog. Thanks for tagging along on my little 24 hour adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.